We got uh, we we're absolutely dead in the water on, on that. Actually, I thought we had a couple clean looks, believe it or not. Um, Dion came off uh, one time, maybe had a window, but he had the presence of mind to get it back to Dwayne. Dwayne, I thought, was open the first time. Uh, then he shot faked it uh, to see if he could get something better, and then uh, that's just – Hall of Fame uh, presence of mind. I mean, his back was to the basket. I think he, I think he looked at the clock on the other end uh, to see it go to one. Um, and sometimes you just need to be lucky. You know, we've had some of these breaks go against us uh, this year. That uh, I don't know. Maybe we were due uh, for one. But uh, a thrilling way to to get this game. And and I, I just commend our guys uh, for yesterday. Um, and that's what this league is about. You deal with struggles, you deal with uh, things that are disappointing, um, and you see if you can grow from it. And for 24 hours, we were able to do it um, and not uh, have a ruined day yesterday uh, with tail with the tails between our legs, but it was just come into work and see if we can find some solutions. You've seen so many of these from him. Yeah. Given... You know, game three in the finals in 2006 and all that stuff. But yeah. Given the stakes, given where you guys are, biggest? I don't know. I think it's the – and I even told them. Um, we normally go through our routine. I go around the locker room. As soon as we broke the huddle, I just I just get you know, a huge hug. <laughs> Didn't even wait. I said, I'm not waiting. Um, I bear hugged him. But I think uh, the, the raw – genuine emotion after that is my favorite one that I've seen him in all of his ones that he's hit. And I have a couple of them in my office, you know, the .08 ones against Utah and New York. Um, but this one, just the realization uh, that it went in, uh, and then his, I could see his look to see the official go like this, and then he looked up at the score, and then, then there was the reaction. And it just... You know, after being 16 years uh, in the league and um, just that raw joy, uh, you know, that, that's what it's all about. Uh, that, w- that was fun. That was one of my favorite moments, just watching him, his reaction, and then the team's reaction after that. Obviously the buzzer beater, but what can you say about in the last couple of minutes – Dwayne being able to slow down the tempo of the game and, and yeah. just slowing down the game, especially when it's a, such a high tense situation. Yeah, uh, and, and that's what Hall of Fame players do uh, because they came storming back and and they can break your spirit, obviously, better than any team in, in the league. They had two four-point plays, and when they made both of them, you're not even at the l- least bit surprised. You're expecting it to go and for them to get fouled and for them to make the free throw. Uh, you see it time and time again. Um, so oftentimes uh, you can get totally rattled and lose your level of detail and execution on the other end. It's so easy. You see it night in, night out against this team. But if you have a Hall of Famer, you can kind of get set. At least you can get organized and you know you're going to get uh, you know, something coherent. And, uh, and that's what he did. He just got guys to their spots and we were able to – Make or miss, able to get the the right looks. When Goron scores big, it's not surprising, but we're a little surprised considering third game back after two months off. <laughs> um, I'm I'm never surprised by his talent and the, and the uh, plays that he can make, but I didn't realize that he had 25 at halftime until uh, after I spoke to the team. I was looking at all of their numbers uh, and points in the bay, like, uh, just some other bigger numbers. I went back in my office and I, uh, I was surprised that he had 25. It was just in one of those zones and, and we needed every bit of it, uh, because you have to get a cushion against this team. <laughs> you know, you do. And then, uh, you have to have players that can make plays, uh, against all the switching, um, and guys that can create something sometimes out of nothing. And, uh, Gorn does that, uh, and he's done it for his whole career uh, as well as anybody. For the Slovenian press, so just to follow up on that, can you say a little bit more about Goran coming back? I mean, w- tonight was yeah, um, amazing, I, but uh, kind of what you've been looking for and, and what you – Yeah, I, I, I want going? this to come across the right way. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people tend to forget that he's, he's our all-star. You know, last year we were sixth seed in the East – uh, and he was an all-star, uh, and 
with that kind of talent, uh, your, your team looks a lot different. Uh, this year, from the very beginning, he just wasn't right physically. He only played 14 games before this, and you could just tell, uh, you know, two weeks into the season, he didn't look healthy. Uh, and for him to be able to come back this year was a, a big victory for our franchise, regardless uh, of, you know, whether he can get back to the all-star level, you know, in these 20-some games. But just him being back and and giving us that kind of talent off the bench, uh, uh, it just gives our, our team so much confidence. Uh, another player maker, um, and he makes big plays. And he, he does those uh, um, break you down off the dribble plays that you don't necessarily need to run a set for. <laughs> um and we we had been struggling with that a little bit, uh, you know, in in some of the previous weeks without him. Uh, Bam had another moment one on one against Curry. Is that like sort of becoming his thing? I mean, that was again held up him off the dribble and then big plays on finishing at the rim. Can you talk about him? Yeah, tonight? He, he was tremendous. Uh, again, we were able to uh, run a lot of our offense through him uh, because of all their switching and their ability to kind of flatten you out. Uh, similar to what we did in Golden State uh, in the fourth quarter. Uh, but it wasn't only his ability to switch out on Curry on that one possession in the corner. It was reminiscent of, of last year, but also he was guarding Durant uh, you know, down the stretch, and we had full trust in him, even even that one play. I mean, uh, Durant does that to everybody. <laughs> you know, it was four-point plays, and he was there. Um but he has that kind of versatility defensively, um, you know, which is why we, why he's so important to us.